I'm Jake Walker, Director of Operations here at Velossum, and I'm going to give a quick video tutorial on how to use the new Dura XT uh, cell phone combined with our vSite Plus application. First thing I did is I, I hit the end key here, which is our power key for the phone, and it's starting to boot up the phone. It takes about 30 seconds from the time you hit that till we get to where we can do something. And the first thing that we're going to do is it, it brings up our app and launches right into our login screen. So you can see it's just not touching anything. It's just going to go right from the Sprint Home screen. And if you just wait for it for a few seconds, it does launch right into our application and uh, asks you to log in. Now real quick, um, if you ever exit the application and you are on the Sprint Home screen, you want to launch the app. Anywhere here on this navigation wheel is programmed to be a shortcut to go to our app, so you hit it, scroll down to vSite Plus and highlight it, and then use the OK button right here in the middle, and it'll launch our app. Now, first thing it does, same thing, is just take you here to the login screen. Now, it, it saves the username from the last session, but if that is not you, then you can use the back key right here to delete out the information and then use the uh, keypad here to punch in your username. Down arrow key on the navigation wheel takes us to the password and then the left soft key for logging in. Once we get the successful little sound, we can uh, close the phone and get ready to go. Notice the phone does display here on the outside of the time which is kind of nice for when you're issuing citations, and it does give you the last uh, message that the phone uh, displayed. So uh, now when you do get ready to write a citation, one thing I do want you to pay attention to is when you open your pen, always make sure to feel for that one buzz that tells you your pen is on. You can also see here on the uh, indicator light that this pen is on, if I can get that right on the camera. and. Uh, then we can go ahead and write a citation. Of course, if the pen doesn't turn on, either because of a battery issue or maybe something uh, more, uh, it, it's, it's no good as a digital pen. It's nothing more than a ballpoint pen at that point. So make sure that you do feel that buzz or see that light. Um, now, real quick, just as a reminder, I'm just going to fill out the license plate f portion on this citation. And uh, it's, it's already in here. We're just going to actually do an update to it. Um, but I'm going to just do... A, B, C, one, two, three, and then you use these just like a keyboard. So you strike them off in order and go A, B, C, and then one, two, three. Now, if you did make a mistake while you were uh, striking those bubbles, if I accidentally hit something I didn't want, you can always go up here to the clear, and if I hit clear, it restarts this keyboard here. So then I'm going to do it again, A, B, C, one, two, three. And notice I make slightly a different stroke the second time I, I hit it, but each time I stay right within those bubbles. It's good to stay within those bubbles because if you do accidentally strike through more than one bubble, it will register both of them as a stroke. So just like a keyboard, you can't punch multiple keys at once and, and expect it to work. Um, when I am ready to send this citation, I'm just going to strike the send box. I'll fill two quick buzzes on the pen that lets me know it's sending the data. Once I have those two buzzes, I can open the phone at any time, um, or I can wait until it says take photo. If I leave the phone closed right now, it will actually send this citation with no photos, but I do want to open it up, and it's going to automatically launch my photo application here. So I can use the left soft key here, or the OK button to take my photo. And once I've taken it, I have the option to use it with the left soft key, or I have the option to retake it if I messed things up. Um, I'm just going to click on Use, and I'll take a second photo, and click Use again. Now at any point, I can hit Done. Um, and when I hit Done, it's going to send that citation in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit Done now. And once I hit Done, it's telling me, please wait takes just a few seconds if you have a good signal 
and there's my return message. Notice I get two little chimes there. That's because on my demo, I have it programmed to return for me both the license plate that I bubbled in, and you can see I did get ABC123, as well as my process document number, which is my citation number. Um, once you get that, go ahead and close the phone. You're ready to move on to your next citation. Now, one quick thing of note, you saw I processed that one with the phone open. If you do close the phone, it will still send the ticket, but it's considerably slower. So we're going to go ahead and show that real quick. I'm going to do an update here. Just put in um, a couple more pieces of information here on my ticket. And uh, let's see, 12, 19, 12, and my phone tells me it's 247. Okay. So strike off a violation, and I'm going to go hit this uh, send box down here one more time. Now again, I can open that phone at any time in order to take my pictures. You can see here that I've opened it before it's finished processing from the pen. There it says, pen in use, please wait. And now it's launching my photo application. Now I'm going to take some more pictures here and use and uh, this time I'm going to I'm gonna show uh, one quick thing here so I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna close the phone and I know most officers are gonna do this out in the field because you're wanting to climb back in or uh, move on to the next vehicle and so I'm gonna hit done I'm gonna close the phone and you notice here it says please wait while it's saying please wait if I go ahead and make another update here and I hit the send box it's going to actually send that ticket into the phone, but it doesn't have anywhere to go because it's it's still trying to send the previous citation. So what it's going to do is it's going to actually store that citation, and it's going to not allow us to take photos on it. It's going to store it, and it's going to automatically try and send it out as it sends this one that it's processing. Notice it is taking. There's the one processed, and there's the second one processed. Oh, actually, that was I, I get two chimes on each of my citations here with the demo, so it's now processing that second update that I sent in, and we'll get that chime here shortly. But you notice it never asked me to take photos. It's now processed both of those, and if we open it up, we're just back on the home screen. I can go in and, and uh, using the up arrow key on my navigation wheel, I can go into my... Um, my notifications and I can see all of those updates that I sent in here but it, it didn't allow me to take photos because it was currently processing the other citations so um, if you do see it saying please wait on here and you try to send in another ticket it's going to just automatically send it and if you want to take photos you're going to need to wait till it is finished processing all the tickets and then you can hit this send box again on the ticket you want to take photos on and you'll be able to open that phone up and take those photos. So again, if I, if I leave the phone open when I hit that done, it takes about half the amount of time or less to process that ticket. So once that's done, then I can close it. Now I can go right on, make myself a um, update, send it in, and I'll be able to take photos on that update. So keep in mind that if it is saying, please wait, you won't be able to take photos on uh, if you do try and send. If you do try and send it, you won't lose anything. It will work. Just you don't have that opportunity for the photos. Okay. I think I've hammered on that enough. I think I think uh, you you get where we're going there, and uh, I think that that's about everything I wanted to cover on this. If you if you ever find yourself um, opening the phone and it turns out that there's a black screen here and nothing's happening, that's an indication that the phone has frozen. The other way you'll you'll be notified to that is when you hit the send box, you will get one long vibration out of the pen. One long vibration in the pen tells you that it, the app is not active, so the phone did not receive the data. The data is still stored on the pen, and you'll need to activate the app 
and then resend that data. Um, if you if you do find the phone to be unresponsive, the fastest way to resolve it is to flip it over, open up the battery case, and just quickly pull out the battery, stick it back in, put the case back on, and relaunch the phone. Um, if, if that does happen to you, you won't have lost any data. It may just be stored on the pen. Like I said, if you get that long buzz in the pen, it means the data did not send, and it's still there. As soon as the, pen, or as soon as the phone is back active and you've logged in, you can go ahead and hit that send box again, and it will send all of that data. Nothing's lost. Um, again, if you... Um, if you do have any questions on this or want any additional information, you can feel free to reach me at uh, jwalker at velocim.com or feel free to call me here in my office, 801-810-2896. And that's, that's everything on the new Dura XT. Thanks for watching.